Let's talk about audio transitions between scenes in games. So you're making a game. You've crafted an experience that you're excited for players to explore. You've spent all of this time and energy and passion creating the art, the music, and the systems that comprise this game. You're super excited for players to experience it. You've made the decision to open your game with a menu. The menu isn't the experience itself, but we can live with that. But then you do this. After pouring all of that energy into drawing your audience into this experience you've crafted, you've broken that promise before your game even began. Why? Well, simply put, it was that hard cut in the music when the scene finished loading. So audio largely plays on the subconscious, and the subconscious message that this sends, the hard cut in the music, is that what I have just experienced, before the game even began, wasn't crafted. It wasn't prepared. I'm now stuck thinking about levels and loading, about the structure of the game, and I'm no longer wondering about the experience itself. The game now has to work to earn that trust back from me. So as designers, how do we avoid breaking this promise? The simplest way is by making the transition less obvious. We can achieve this by adding a simple fade out at the end of our music and then stopping it a little bit early. In FMOD, this can be done really, really easily by adding a release curve to the automation of your track's volume so that when you hit stop, it will slowly fade out instead of cutting immediately. And then in Unity, just call stop with the additional parameter to allow fade outs instead of an immediate stop mode. Here's the same demo project with this implemented. However, we can do better than this if we'd like to. We can extend the experience of our game backwards into the menus, or even from the menus into the game, rather than simply trying to hide our crimes, so to speak. This approach requires intentionality, it often requires music tailored to the approach itself, but it can be well worth the effort due to the first impressions payoff. Here's an example of an approach in this style. We'll talk about it more after it plays. So there are a bunch of different compositional techniques that you can use to achieve this type of a smooth transition. What we just did is known as vertical remixing and involves sustaining the same structural piece of music, but bringing in new layers as elements in our game change. In this case, as the game transitions from the menu state to the loading state, and then again from the loading state to the game loop, we're bringing in additional elements. From an architectural standpoint, what this means, and why it's not always an obvious approach, despite its potential benefits towards improving our user experience, is that we need a way for our music instance to persist through our loading screens. Fortunately for us Unity devs, all that we need to do to make this happen is call the don't destroy on load function on any object we would like to persist while loading. This, however, adds an additional complication that we have to deal with. We now run the risk of having multiple music management objects in our scene at once, if we load from one scene to another. To remedy this, we simply create a static instance of our manager script, and if a new manager is detected, we destroy that new manager. This additionally allows us to have the functionality of being able to place an audio manager or a music manager in any scene like we would before without them impacting each other during runtime. As a note, because the flow of my example project that I just laid out is monodirectional, I'm using cues to indicate how to transition between the different sections of the music. In a nonlinear project, you'd simply change that to a parametric control, and it would be very, very slightly more complex in FMOD, but no different in Unity. You just send the parameter data over instead of triggering a cue. And that's really all there is to it. I sincerely hope this helps in bringing your creations to your audiences in as sincere and genuine a form as you're hoping for. If you're interested in discussing this or anything similar to it further, I'd love to hear from you. You can do that in either the comments or you can reach out to me on social media. I appreciate you all and thank you for watching.